Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kayla and I'm so glad you guys are here today. Today I just have a super quick video for you guys. I'm making a minky baby blanket. I got a custom order for one so I thought I would bring you guys along with me. I offer three different size minky blankets in my Etsy shop and um, this custom order was for the child size blanket which is a 26 by 34 inch blanket. So both of these pe minky pieces that I have here are 27 inches by 35 inches. I give myself an inch extra when I measure so that I have a half inch seam allowance all around my blanket. The first step I have after my minky pieces are cut to the size that I want is to embroider the name. I'm using my Brother PE 800 for this and I used tearaway stabilizer on the bottom and I put water soluble stabilizer on the top so that um, the name doesn't get lost in the long minky fabric. So now that that's done embroidering, I'm just taking the water soluble stabilizer off the top and cutting all of the loose threads. The water soluble stabilizer is really easy to work with. You literally just basically rip it off. And then I'm just going to take my tweezers and get in between the letters, um, like the inside of the E, the inside of the D, um, you know, basically inside all of the, the loops that are in the cursive font. So once I have all of the excess stabilizer off of the back and the water soluble stabilizer off the top, I'm just going to pin all the way around the blanket and get ready to sew. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you a more up close video of how I pin my minky blankets. Minky on minky slips really easily and before you know it, your entire blanket can be off centered and not squared up like it should be. So I do your initial row of pins and then a second row of pins and then I add a little extra security on the corners 
and then in some places I'll even go and add a third pin if I think that there's too much of a gap. I've seen other blanket makers even pin the middle part. Um, I so far haven't needed to. This seems to work really well for me. So I just wanted to share. So now I am just um, setting my machine to the tension that I want. I have my top tension set at four and my bottom tension set at three and a half. So I'm just doing a simple straight stitch all the way around um, the blanket and then I will show you here in a minute um, the gap that I leave so that I can pull the blanket um, right side out and then top stitch all the way around. So here you can see the gap that I leave. It's probably, uh, I would say, six to eight inches long. The minky fabric does get pretty thick, so you want enough of a gap to um, be able to pull it through, but not big enough to where you know, you're, you're fighting with it when you pull it back out and have to sew it closed. So now I'm just taking all of my extra million pins out that I use to secure my blanket, and then I'm going to take some scissors and I'm going to round out the corners so that they are not a complete 90 degree corner. I'm going to round them out because when you pull it, when you pull the blanket right side in, it can get um, really thick right there and it can be a little harder to sew through. So I find it easier to round out those edges. And then I'm just taking um, my finger and I have some some pretty flat tweezers that I use to push out the corners to give me just a better looking corner. And then I'm going to pin my opening closed and I'm going to sew through it and then just stitch all the way around. And I'm so sad the clip of me top stitching all the way around didn't record, but here it is all finished. I am so happy with how it turned out. The blush on top of the gray fawn pattern is just absolutely gorgeous. Thank you guys so much for watching this quick video and hanging out with me. Make sure you subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and turn on your bell notifications so that you get notified every single time I upload a video. And I will see you guys next time.